This was brought to you by Roger Hansen, Gaming with Infamous, on YouTube, Roger Hansen on Patreon, and Franklin County Internet Society on Facebook. Stilts. These wooden stilts strap to your legs, increasing your height by two feet. They require a successful balance check, DC-5, to use effectively. You can also buy taller stilts. For each individual foot in height increase, balance check DC by 5 and add tingle pieces to the cost. Base speed while using stilts is 20 feet. Small characters actually benefit from the longer strides. You cannot run on stilts. Table case folding. A two foot by two foot suitcase that doesn't that doubles as a folding table. This is commonly used by street performers, fences, and commerce. Tarp. This is a 10 foot square piece of sturdy canvas with metal eyelets in the corners of the hand and edges. Teepee. Used primarily by nomads, a teepee provides excellent shelter against the elements. It takes one hour to set up and half an hour to take down. A typical teepee provides enough room to comfortably fit a medium-sized humans. It requires a horse, donkey, or mule, or wagon to transport effectively. Tent. One person. A tent designed to shelter one medium-sized human. Tent. Four person. A large tent that can comfortably fit four medium-sized humans. Tent, pavilion, a huge open air canopy plus stakes, poles, and ropes. It can comfortably fit 20 medium sized humanoids underneath. Thieving helmet, this specially designed helmet has metal funnels around the ears which grant a plus one. Circumstance based on listening listen checks. Toms metal. These are one foot long metal toms used to pick up objects without touching them directly. Tools farming. Typical farming and gardening tools often found in the of commerce. They have wooden shafts or handles and iron heads, typically carbons 5 5 HP, if used as weapons. They impose a negative 4 non proficiency penalty on attack rolls. Tree stand. This portable platform gives hunters a stable surface above the ground. In dense leaves, the tree stand provides a plus two circumstance bonus on hide checks against anyone on the ground and doubles the range of vision. Tree Tent Help a cleverly designed and very comfortable one-person tent that spreads itself in the bra branches of trees. Due to its coloration and shape, it gains a plus one circumstance bonus in high check. A 
gets being spotted from the ground. Twine rope. The rope of sturdy twine. It has zero hardness and one hit point when tightly wrapped around an object. It has the same strength as hip rope. Rope. It has the same strength as hip rope. Zero hardness, two hit points per inch. Water, lawful, chaotic. Groups that worship deities dedicated to the concept of law and chaos also create water that mimics the effects of holy or unholy water. Lawful water is identified by its utter stillness, while chaotic water constantly bubbles and froths. Lawful water damages chaotic outsiders almost as if it was it were acid. Typically a flat a flask of lawful water deals two die four points of damage to a chaotic outsider on a direct hit or one point of damage if it splashes such a creature. In addition, lawful water is considered blessed, which means it has special effects against certain creatures. A flash of lawful water can be thrown as a grenade-like weapon. See grenade-like weapon attacks in Chapter 8 of the Player's Handbook. A flask breaks in. No, if thrown against the body of a corporeal creature, but against an incorporeal creature, the flask must be open and the lawful water poured onto it. Thus, you can douse an incorporeal creature with lawful water only if you are adjacent to it. Doing so is a ranged touched touch attack and does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Chaotic water is identical to lawful water, except it affects lawful outsiders. Wick candle. This is treated with wick for creating candles. In addition, it can be used as a timing device for fuse. One inch of wick burns in 30 seconds. The flame is as, as strong as it is that of the candle, so it is easily snuffed out by wind rain. Winch. This is a handcraft winch plus 50 feet of hemp rope or wire and a small hook. To be effective, and the winch must be bolted or nailed down to a secure surface. There are different strengths that one can purchase. The equivalence of the person with strength 18, which is lift slash drag 600 points, or 20, which is lift slash drag 800 pounds, 600 pounds, and then 20 is lift slash drag 800 pounds, or 22, which is lift slash drag. 1,040 pounds. Adventuring in low or no magic campaigns. There are times when dungeon masters and players want to attempt a more real campaign where 
flashy magic is extremely rare or non-existent. This opens up all sorts of interesting and challenging situations where the PCs must survive by their skill, skills, wits, and of course, equipment alone. Magic is powerful or trivial. Obviously, magic holds no threat or benefit in a campaign where none exists. In a low magic campaign, however, magic can happen in one of two ways. In the first situation, magic is notable when it happens. When it happens, characters should be awed, frightened, or at the very least respectful when witnessing it in action. Magic is considered the work of gods and powerful wizards, and the effects it produces are enormous. Major spells usually involve numerous casters to pull off, take an extraordinary amount of time to cast, and often include a magical device to act as a power source. In the second situation, magic is extremely subtle. Are rarely witnessed physically, if all. Spells of this nature probably fall under the divination, enchantment, or illusion school. A good example of low impact magic can be found in the Witch, no, in the Witch, a variety spellcasting class in Chapter 2 of the Dungeon Master's Guide. Spellca spellcasters would advance very slowly, although they would probably be sought after as wise men or women. Magic items would be the source of many legends, quests, and adventures. Even though their power pales when compared to normal campaigns. Choose your equipment wisely. Without spells to aid characters in everything from locating objects to blasting mad monsters, what you carry on your person is extremely important. Torches and lanterns are necessary, are necessary without the benefit of light spells. Lacking fly or levitation spells, ropes and ladders would be the only way to scale walls. A flaming bottle of oil or alchemist's fire in a low magic campaign could be a great equalizer in combat when fire fireballs are unavailable. Keeping with the tone of the real campaign, weight the encumbrance. Weight and encumbrance come more heavily into play. In short, if you can carry it, you can have it. This does increase paperwork, but it also adds a gritty realism that some DMs and players enjoy. Combat, wounds, and healing. With the complete lack of or limited healing magic, combat is deadly. Adventurers should choose their battles wisely and be ready to run if things turn against them. Damage from exotic sources like fire, acid, or cold can have far-reaching effects that are unimportant when healing magic is readily available. The 
heal skill is a vital, is vital in a no magic campaign. Without the benefit of, uh, of cure, resurrection, or regeneration spells, we make adventurers can expect to spend a great deal of time healing up between major confrontations and are dependent on trained physicians to assist them. Possessing a healer's kit would be crucial to anyone with the skill. Remember also that the challenge rating of a monster assumes that PCs have already access to healing magic. A low magic campaign where healing magic is extremely limited, DMs must assign ad hoc XP awards to represent the increase in encounter difficulties. See assigning ad hoc XP awards in Chapter 7 of the Dungeon Master's Guide. Weapons. In a world with little or no magic, the best weapons to be found are masterwork quality. The price for creating or buying one would increase dramatically. Without wizards and sorcerers capable of creating magical weapons, high-skilled blacksmiths would be in great demand. They would not come cheap. In a low magic campaign, possessing even a plus one weapon would be a major boom and a curse. A good weapon would instantly draw the attention of anyone who saw it for what it was, including the character's enemies and other people who want to own it themselves. Entire kingdoms would be toppled in the name of finding or repossessing these relatively low-powered magic items. Skill kits. 
the equipment is particularly useful. Now, this equipment is particularly useful if you have certain skills or are of a certain class. Animal Trainer's Kit. This kit consists of harnesses, rods, lights, light whips, treats, and other items that are helpful for training animals. There are different kits for different types of animals. It grants a plus two circumstance bonus on handle animal check. If training vicious animals, the animal training outfit is highly recommended. See outfits below. Forger's kit. This is a special collection of different pins, seals, guides, waxes, inks, magnifying glasses, books of writing styles, parchment, and other instruments. It grants a plus two circumstance bonus on forgery checks and lasts for 10 uses before having to be replaced. Gestures Kit A fine collection of gaudy clothing, face paint, toys, puppets, juggling balls, and other colorful items. It grants a plus one circumstance bonus on any perf perform comedy, perform buffoonery, or disguise checks to avoid recognition. Navigator's Kit This expensive set of instruments includes a sextant, astrolabe, and compass, and measuring tools. It has no benefit on land, but grants a plus two circumstance bonus on intuit, direction, and wilderness lore. Directional only. Checks. While at sea, and or professing cartographer. Checks to make maps. Squire's Kick. This is a variety of focusing crystals, incense, miners, and other tools to help a squire concentrate. It grants a plus two circumstance bonus on sky checks. The user must still have the ability to cast the scrying spell or have a crystal ball. Swimmer's Kit. This consists of a snorkel. See the snorkel entry above. The bonus is already factored in. Crude goggles, flippers, and occasionally skin tight suits. It grants a plus two circumstance bonus on swim checks and cannot be worn with other clothing or armor. Outfits. Animal training outfits. Essentially beefed up padded armor. This suit covers a person from head to toe in thick quilted padding, especially around the limbs. It is used as protection by those who specialize in training attacks, the training attack animals, such as dogs. It is very difficult to move in this outfit, so it does not make for good armor. Used as armor, it has the following statistics. 
armor bonus is plus two, maximum. Dex bonus plus one, armor check penalty negative seven, arcane spell failure forty percent, speed twenty feet, thirty feet, fifteen feet. Bookkeeper Alfie. Bookkeeper's Alfie. Prevents damage from ordinary vermin of all kinds, bees, ants, centipedes, and so on. The outfit consists of a sealed leather suit and a large helmet encased in fine netting. See the insect netting the outfit grants a plus 6 armor bonus to AC against attacks from stinging and biting creatures that are size 5. It provides no protection against larger creatures. Desert outfit. This outfit consists of loose Billowy clothing designed to keep the wearer cool and protected from the sun while out in dry, hot desert terrain. It includes a caftan, turban, scarf, loose pin, towel, pantaloons, and either high boots or low sandals. Wearing the outfit eliminates the negative four penalty on fortitudes. Fortitude saves for wearing heavy clothing in hot or extreme heat. See heat dangers in chapter three of the Dungeon Master's Guide. This does not apply if the characters if the character wears any armor. Clothing designed to protect the wearer against abysmal heat, such as temperatures found around forges and volcanoes. It consists of heavy pants and coat, a specially treated leather apron, very thick mittens, a thick hood. The heat suit outfit prevents three points of normal heat damage per round. Not subdual and eliminates the negative four penalty for fortitude saves for wearing heavy clothes. Apron leather costs three silver pieces. 
species, like Dubans, Belt, Baldrick, Class 7 subspecies, weight 1 and a half pound, Item, Item 11, Class 2 subspecies, weight slash, Item 5, Cost 25 gold pieces, cost slash, item buckle large, plain, cost 2 silver pieces, weight slash, item buckle fancy, cost 1 gold piece plus, weight slash, item buckle Body suit. Item body suit. Black one. Cost 30 gold pieces. Weight one pound. Item boots. High. Cost five silver pieces. Weight one pound. Item boots. Hip weighted. Cost one gold piece, weight three pounds. Item boots, low. Cost three silver pieces, weight half pound. Item boots, riding. Cost one gold piece, weight one pound. Item boots. Smugglers 1, cost 10 gold pieces, weight 1 pound. Item, breachers, breeches, slash pants. Set cloth, cost 5, copper pieces, weight 1 pound. Item, breeches, pants, cotton, cost 1 silver pieces. <coughs> Weight one down. Item bitches slash pants leather cost eight silver pieces weight one point five pounds. Item bitches slash pants woolen cost five silver pieces weight one down. Item bitches Slash pants, velvet, cost four gold pieces, weight one pound. Item bridges slash pants, silk, cost eight gold pieces, weight slash. Bustle, an item bustle, five gold pieces, one pound. Item cape, half cape, <clears throat> cost 10 silver pieces, weight 1 pound. Item cape, full cape, cost 1 gold piece, weight 3 pounds. Item chemise, chim or chemise. Set cloth, cost 8 copper pieces, weight slash, item to niche, linen, cost 1 silver piece, weight slash, <coughs> item to niche, silk, 6 gold pieces, Cost six gold pieces, weight slash. Item coat jacket, jerky, cotton. Cost six silver pieces, weight two pounds. Item coat jacket, jerky, leather. Cost one gold pieces, weight three pounds. Item coat jacket. Jerkin, 
a head wear cap rule. Cost one silver pieces, weight slash. Item, a head wear coif. Cost two silver pieces, weight slash. Item, head wear fez. Cost one silver pieces. Weight slash item hood wool cost eight copper pieces. Weight slash item hood cotton cost five copper pieces. Weight slash item headwear. Hood, fur, cost one gold pieces, weight slash. Item, headwear, helmet, minus one, cost one gold piece, weight one pound. Item, headwear, turban, cost two silver pieces, weight half pound. Item line cloth cost three copper pieces weight slash item night shirt silk six cost six golden pieces weight slash item robe set cloth cost one silver piece weight two pounds item Cotton, no, item, robe, cotton linen, cost one gold piece, weight two pounds, item, robe, velvet, cost three gold pieces, weight three pounds, item, robe, silk, cost five gold pieces, weight two pounds, item, Knee pads cost three silver pieces, weight half pounds. Item pads, elbow pads cost three silver pieces, weight half pounds. Item pads, shin, shin guards cost four silver pieces, weight half pound. Item sash cotton cost two silver pieces weight slash item sash wool cost one silver pieces weight slash item sash silk cost four gold pieces weight slash item shirt set cloth cost Five copper pieces, weight half pound. Item, shirt, cotton, slash linen, cost one silver pieces, weight half pound. Item, shirt, velvet, cost five gold pieces, weight half pound. Leather Warriors cost five 
to the pieces, weight one pound. Item, stockings, plus four silver pieces, weight slash. Item, suspenders, cost eight copper pieces, weight slash. Item, tabard, cost five silver pieces, weight half pound. Item of Toga, Desert, cost 8 copper pieces, weight 3 pounds. Item of Toga, Velvet, cost 5 gold pieces, weight 3 pounds. Item of Toga, Silk, cost 45 gold pieces, weight 3 pounds. Item of Tunic, Sackcloth, cost 5 copper pieces, weight 1 pound. Item of Tunic, Cotton, cost 5 silver pieces, weight 1 pound. Item of Tunic, Velvet, cost 2 gold pieces, weight 1 pound. Item of Tunic, Silk, Cost five gold pieces, weight one pound. Item Best Knife One. Cost twenty-five gold pieces, weight two pounds. Slash equals no weight worth nothing. One describe describe in the clothing section. Gaming with Infamous, we are into online and tabletop role-playing games, multiplayer online battle arena games, strategy, and simulation games too. Check out some of our stuff on Facebook, Franklin County Internet Society. We also have videos on YouTube as well. Roger Hansen, Gaming with Infamous. Support us on Patreon. Check our podcast out too on any of these available platforms. Anchor, Breaker, Google Podcasts. Overcast, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, Spotify. If you're enjoying the stream please like, subscribe, share, and comment. We would love to hear feedback.